It's almost like we, we talk about the fact that there really is no neutral, that if you're not practicing and growing and getting better, it's impossible to stay the same. Like you will get worse. And so the interesting thing in that is I've been learning a lot lately about how like the actual brain works in that if you try to stay the same, if my goal is just like to maintain where I'm at, that your brain will literally create problems because you were born to fix things, you were born to accomplish, you were born to solve problems. And so you're literally, your brain will create problems, struggles and things for you to have to overcome just to be able to stay the same. Right which is crazy. And the same amount of effort that it's gonna, that it's gonna take for you to get to the next level, it's gonna take that same amount of effort for you to stay the same. Right. Because your body literally will create a scenario for you to have to overcome because that's just what, you, that's what humans are born to do. They're born to, to fix problems and to, and to overcome struggles, which when you get to that level of it, that to me is like the ultimate um, encouragement. Right in trying to get people to be constant learners and constantly growing and constantly, you know, refining their craft. And the big thing people always say is they, that they don't have time. But it's so funny because we just hopped in the car and this was blaring, the no, MF CEO talking, project with Andy Frisella. No, and it's what I was listening to on the way to work today. Uh, and you don't realize those little windows of time, like even if you don't have a, a big commute, a big long commute, like that five, 10 minute window on your way to work where you can just have knowledge coming in versus just like what, music, news, stuff like that. Um, you can you can constantly be learning. And so I, that's kind of my mode of operation. So a lot of times I'm not reading a book, like as far as a paper book, um, but I'm listening to, to books, uh, the audio, um, and it may be an entire book and it may be just two sentences out of that entire book uh, that I'm actually able to um, internalize and then implement uh, into my business or into my personal life that actually makes a difference and makes a change. And that makes that entire book worth it. That makes that entire you know seven hours that it took to listen to a book uh, worth it. For that one little paragraph, that one page, that one point uh, that you're able to take implement and actually see the fruits of that. So I had my own business when I was in college and it was a landscaping business and uh, got to where I only had one major client but it took like 26 hours to do all the landscaping for this client and so I would do that on the weekends and you know my dad uh, was has always been a, a lifetime learner, always has read books, always has listened to um, at that time, tape series, you know, the old cassette tapes, the tape series of those big like binder looking deals from like Nightingale Conan. Uh, he had like everyone that existed. And so when I would um, mow grass and do yard work on the weekends with my business, I would listen to those tapes. That's all I listened to. And, and I always look back on my time in college and with that business. And I know for a fact, that I learned more on the lawnmower than I did in school at Clemson. What I can tell you is when I went from that period of time from being broke to a certain level of success and then another level of success and another level of success, that there was an insane amount of personal development and personal growth that transpired over that period of time. Um, there was a period of time where nothing, like all I listened to uh, or watched was like Gary Vaynerchuk and the Andy Frisellas of the world and the, the old school stuff um, like Brian Tracy and Zig Ziglar and I still do a little Tony Robbins and um, people that you know younger people don't even know about like Harvey McKay and and people like Napoleon Hill and, and stuff like that it's just constantly trying to feed your brain uh, with positive growing stretching information and uh, it's incredible what, what that compounding effect will turn into over time.